shout out to the person who wanted me to do Thor versus Razzlevarg. So welcome to this episode of the Versus series where I take one champion and pin them against another champion in Hydra to see who does more damage. Now, somebody said, hey, try Thor versus Razzlevarg. So what I did was I rebuilt Razzlevarg. I'm going to show you guys uh, the build for Thor pretty soon here, but let's go ahead and take a look at the bunny. He kind of reminds me of the bunny from Alice in Wonderland, but I mean, just look at him. He's sick, dude. And he's got, I think those are runes on his ears. I never even noticed that before. And then there's a wolf head right here. I didn't even, or is this the guy from, um, what's the, the girl with the, the red riding hood? Um, she was little. God, I can't remember the name of the, the nursery or the, the kids book, but I, I do know that she was little, she was a little girl, and she had a red riding hood, but I can't remember. Anyway, let's go over his skills for anybody who doesn't know. His A1 attacks three times. Each hit is going to fill this champion's turn meter by 5%. Keep in mind, his damage is based off of attack and speed. Now, I don't really know how exactly the speed translates to damage. For example, with uh, Rodos, you could... I think I've heard people say that every 1,000 HP Rotos has, that's the equivalent of like uh, 10 points of attack or something like that. Uh, somebody check me on that. I, I forgot. He's got a multi-hitter on his A1, which means he's also really good for Fire Knight. And for a while, I had him in my Fire Knight hard 10 team. His A2 is an AoE. It also places Leech, so anytime you're in the Hydra, he places the Leech, everybody has a good opportunity to heal, and then he also heals himself a bit by using this skill. His A3 is going to be an AoE with increased speed and increased accuracy. Increased speed is obviously really good, so your champions go faster, everybody is going to be able to take more turns, and this is also something that is, that's, um, that's really good for the Hard Fire Knight because you need high speed. Also, increase accuracy. This means that for wherever you put him in, anybody who is in the team with him doesn't need to have as much accuracy as they normally would. Because if this increased accuracy is up, that's 50%, you can focus all of those extra stats that you don't necessarily need uh, as long as you're meeting whatever threshold you're meeting. And you can pump that into something else like extra damage or speed or resistance or something like that so it's pretty good pretty good um kit here i really like it again damage is based on attack and speed each increase speed buff placed by this champion increases the champion's speed by five up to 100 points so he's going super fast especially after long fights he's going to have that time to charge up and get that really big boost of 100 points of speed which of course also translates into extra damage. Of course, he's got the 20% boost in speed. So again, he's going even faster and you can throw him in the lead. I think he's a good lead. And then we have Brimstone on him. Uh, with all his AOEs, I, I thought that Brimstone would be a really good blessing to have. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm not really sure if I should pay the 300 gems to switch him to Soul Reap or, or um, you know something cruelty but I've, I've got somebody else already doing cruelty i think maybe soul reap mm, yeah but let me let me know what you guys think because i know thor is in harmony or not harmony but i know thor is in nature's wrath increases damage inflicted inflicted for every debuff they successfully place and we know that razzlevarg is going to be placing a lot of leeches so he could take this to get an extra 15%, but I don't know, what you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? And then here we have the Masteries. As always, do not blindly copy Masteries, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy the Masteries. We're taking crit rate, crit damage, life steal. so if his health gets low, uh, we're going to be able to get some healing in all the way down to Helm Smasher. A Whirlwind of Death doesn't really apply to Hydra, but um, this helps in Fire Knight. Cycle of Violence, chance to decrease the cooldown of a random skill, bring it down, and methodical uh, for obvious damage potential reasons. And then we have uh, resistance, improved parry, healing, resurgence to get a random debuff removed, damage mitigation, and then counter attacks. Just remember every time he takes a turn or every time he attacks with his A1, he's getting a turn meter boost. So that's also why I chose to take the counter attack masteries. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at his kit. I have him in 
one piece of Slayer and then Lethal Set. This is the best I could do. I used the Hell Hades Optimizer to see um, what the best damage build I could get for him in with uh, each of the um, ignored damage sets that I have. And so uh, this is just the best that I can do with Razzlevark without taking gear off of other champions or anything like that. Uh, so we have him, yeah, lethal, ignores 25% of enemy defense, and I eventually want to put, um, put him in Slayer gear because two of his moves here are going to be uh, AoEs, and so Slayer could be pretty nice. Uh, some of you guys might tell me Merciless. Uh, feel free to let me know if you think Merciless would be better. I know somebody is going to tell me that, hey, you should do Cruel and Lethal to get 30%. I tried, but with the speed requirements that I... I want to get it's just not it's not happening again this is you know i looked at, at multiple builds and this is what came out on top currently with what i have to spare now here we're focusing on of course just your regular damage so you have your damage substats that you're focusing on speed is another thing that was really important we have crit damage here i'd like to reroll this but i'm out of ores uh, we got attack percent on the chest and I want to rework this to get it, uh, more attack on him, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm out of ore. Speed, we have speed on speed. This was the fastest boot that I could spare to put on Rezelvarg. So, yeah, um, we'll talk about the priority stats a little bit more soon here. Attack, and then we're taking um, all of these survivability stats because we want to make sure that our guy isn't, uh, you know, dying or anything. And then crit damage, and then I want to reroll this to crit damage as well, of course, out of dust. And then attack and resistance is okay, but I would prefer to take uh, something else, maybe accuracy or attack. Uh, what do you guys think? But yeah, and I haven't fully optimized his stuff yet. That's just because I don't have the resources yet to fully max him out yet. So his total stats are about 50k HP, 5700 attack, 234 speed, 100% crit rate, and 304% crit damage, 250 resistance, 280 accuracy, which is pretty good. And then remember, when it's time to go into Hydra, these are going to be the true stats. Plus, we're going to put Razzlevarg in the lead for another 20%. So again, more speed equals more damage from Razzlevarg. Uh, he's just the Energizer Bunny that keeps on going faster and faster and faster. Plus, his passive means he's going to go 100 points even faster than that, than, than what you see here. Uh, if I'm understanding his passive correctly. Each increased speed buff places uh, placed by the champion increases his speed by five, uh, by five points up to 100. Yeah, exactly. And then plus he's got the buff, the increased speed buff. All right. Now, we've pretty much seen Thor before, but it has been a while since I did my last video and I kind of tweaked Thor a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at his stuff. I, I don't think I have to go over his kit. I think you guys already know his kit. He's relatively new. Everybody still has him but we'll go over the gear so you guys can see his gear. He is in Merciless, so six piece Merciless gives him a 35% chance to ignore defense. And um, this is this is just as best as I could get him for right now. Oh, I guess I could bump up his speed with uh, enchantments, but uh, we'll get around to that later. And then crit damage with HP percent. I'd like to eventually get to the point where I can change this to crit damage, but remember Thor is extremely squishy. He's a very squishy champion. So that is why I went out of my way to make sure I put some defense and HP percent um, stuff on him. Uh, rip on the crit damage, but I don't want to re-roll it. It's merciless. I don't, you know, those those come, those are far, few and far between. So there's that defense with defense, and that's totally fine. Because again, he's got low base defense. He's squishy. In a lot of my testing, he was just dying so much. So I had to keep bumping up his HP and defense to the point where he wouldn't die. So 56, actually, let me look at the true... I just um, stuff here. So 57,000, 6,700 for accuracy, 3,300 for defense, 251 for speed, plus the 20% from Razzlevarg. And every now and then he gets the increased speed from Razzlevarg as well. But he's not going to be going as fast as Razzlevarg. And then 309% crit damage, resistance, accuracy. Uh, also important because, um, I mean, accuracy is also important because of his nature's bounty, or nature's, I keep saying nature's bounty, uh, nature's wrath to give him that, uh, we, I mean, we talked about this already, right? 15% boost to overall damage for every debuff, and he places the debuff with his A3. So, 
And then here are his masteries. You guys have seen this. Uh, some of you guys have already seen this, but I know, uh, you know, we have new people coming to the channel every day. So not everybody knows this, but yeah, this is, these are the masteries that we took, taking uh, the counterattack masteries on this side and then damage all the way to Helm Smasher on the left. But okay, let's go ahead and take them into Hydra. I'm going to run them on Brutal. I don't think you guys care enough to see the entire Hydra run. I, 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 you've seen one Hydra run, you've seen a million of them at this point. So I'm just going to show you guys the end result and here. And here we can see that Thor still out damaged Razzlevark. In fact, he also out damaged Newt on Brutal. This is staggering. It's a staggering amount of, of, a, of a damage difference. I mean... Razzle Varg isn't in a Merciless set, but he's still in a lethal set. And granted, the Ascensions and everything still isn't like all there. And the, the um, what do you call it? He's got Brimstone. But even then, even if I put him in Merciless, and even if I fully optimized his gear the same way that I did for Thor, I wonder and doubt if this would even close a gap. Like, the, look at the gap. It's, it's nowhere near. I feel like even if I maxed him out and optimized him, he wouldn't even be touching Thor. No diddy.